Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to our English video in Levels 2B Elementary book. So today we're going to start the new lessons um, talking about city buildings. Okay, we focus on the grammar lessons, comparative adjective. Okay, so um, we are the lesson subjective. By the end of the lesson, you guys will be able to first tell the forms and use a comparative adjective correctly. Second, complete sentences using correct forms are comparative adjective. And the last one, you guys will be able to create correct sentences are comparative adjective. Okay, so now let's get started. Everyone, here's the pictures of Paris and London, right? So what I want you to do is to find the difference between these two city. What are the differences between Paris and London? By looking at the pictures, what can we see? What are the differences between these two cities? Okay, uh, without further delays, let's take a look at the conversations um, between A and B talking about um, London and Paris. So A say, which do you prefer, London or Paris? And B, well, I'm from Paris. So, of course, I love Paris. London is bigger than Paris. It's true, Paris is much smaller, but it's more romantic. Yes, this is what people say. And the food is better. Well, I'm not so sure about that. Okay, from these conversations, what can we say about this country? Yeah, we see the word bigger than means London is a lot bigger than Paris. Okay, so we see the word bigger. Okay, next one, Paris is much smaller. Yes, the word smaller, but it's more romantic. Yes, more romantic. And the last one, the food between these two cities. And the food is better. Okay, the food is better. Okay, this is what people say about uh, London and Paris. So we can see the words um, that we compare between these two cities the word bigger, more romantic, smaller, and better. So this, all of this word, we call it, yes, comparative adjective. Okay, so um, yes, and um, now please take a look at um, the forms and um, some examples of comparative adjective. Um, so we have comparative adjective. Um, we have one syllables, two syllables adding in Y. Two syllables not adding in Y's and three or more syllables. Okay, so for one syllables adjective, for example, we have adjective plus EOR. So we add EOR to the adjective. For example, tall is one syllable, so tall plus EOR to taller. Okay, Two syllables adding in Y change Y to I E or for example happy. Happy adding in Y, so we change Y to happier I E or okay. Next two syllables not adding in Y. So if it's not adding in Y, we have to add more more plus additive. For example, more famous. Famous have two syllables, so more plus famous, more famous. And the last one, three or more syllables, okay? So we have to use more plus adjective, for example, it's more beautiful, okay? And here is some examples that you might um, see between these two fruits, apples and orange, okay? Which one is heavier? Okay, so we can say apples is heavier than orange. So comparative adjectives used to compare between two things. It, in these examples, it's used to compare between apples and orange. 
So apples is heavier than orange. So we see the word heavier, which is in competitive adjective. And then we have to use the word dense when we compare between apples and orange. So heavier than, okay? Apples is heavier than orange, okay? Next examples. There's um, the phones and pens. So what can we say about these pictures? What can we compare between these two pictures? Okay, we can say, yes, phone is more expensive than pants. So the word expensive have three syllables. So we have to add the words more. We don't add your to the word expensive, but we add more to the word expensive. So comparative adjective of the word expensive is more expensive. Okay, so we have to use more expensive than we compare between phones and pen. So more expensive than pen. Yes, phone is more expensive than pen. Okay. Now let's move on. There are also some irregular adjectives that we change everything. We don't add e or or change y to i e or or don't add more to the adjective to the original adjective, but we change everything. For example, the word little change to less when we use it in comparative adjective. Much or many change it to more, good change it to better, bad change it to worse, and far to further, okay? That's what you have to remember. Okay, between these two plants, everyone, what can we say about these two plants by using irregular comparative adjective okay we can say yes the first plan is better than the second okay this one is the first plan and this one is the second plan so the first one is better than the second okay so the word better is from the original adjective of the word yes good so the first plan is good so if we compare between these two things, we have to choose comparative additive by changing it to better than. The first plan is better than the second. Okay. Now let's move on. Here's the practice for you. What you have to do in this practice is to um, change the additive and the, the box to comparative additive. And one and two has been done for you as an example. For example, tall to taller, expensive to more expensive. So you might spend some time thinking of a comparative adjective from the original adjective in the book. Okay. Now, so now let's check um, the answer together. The word hot, change it to, oh sorry, the word cheap, change it to cheaper. Night, nicer, the word hot, change it to hotter. And next, wet to weather, warm to warmer. We just add eos to the original adjective because um, it is only one syllable, okay? Next word, cold, colder. Polite to more polite because polite have two syllables, so we add more. Beautiful to more beautiful. Bad to worse because it is an irrational adjective. And next, good to better. Okay, so now let's move on to the next practice. What you have to do in this is to look at the pictures um, between London and Paris and compare between these two cities using the word I think and the adjective from exercise 2. So we have a leaf adjective. So you can look at the pictures and use this adjective in exercise 2 to compare between London and Paris. Okay. So it is the pictures that you guys can see in your textbook as well. Okay. So the word I think Meaning that you are not so sure about um, the reality of these two cities, but what do do you create as just your thinking? Okay, so the word the first one has been done for you as an example that um, between two and four 
um, um, sorry, between the Alfred Towers and the Kirkings. Okay, there's two, um, the Alfred Towers is taller than, okay. So between these two, the Metro and the Underground is what? And the weather is warm and wet, the buildings, the peoples. So um, you can use any adjective that you like to compare between these two cities. But here is what um, it is what we it is just the ideas that you might use. Okay, the first ones um, has been done for use already. Number two, between the underground and the metro, we see the word here, the pounds and it is the signs of money. So we use the word expensive. The undergrounds is more expensive than the metro. Okay. And next one, number three, Paris is warmer than London. Okay. Number four, Paris is wetter than London. Number five, I think the buildings in Paris are more beautiful. And the last one, I think the people in London are nicer. Okay. It is just the ideas you guys can use the other adjective that do things it is appropriate with these two cities, okay? To compare between these two cities, okay? Now, let's move on to the last practice. So what you have to do in this practice is to listen to Rob. He is Rob, a young Englishman who lives and works in Paris and li please listen to his conversation and find the added comparative adjective that you hear in the recording to complete in this sentences okay now let's get started tape script 9.4 well i like both london and paris but they're very different cities take transport for example the metro is cheaper and easier to use than the underground and the weather, well, Paris is certainly hotter than London. And Paris, in fact, is wetter than London. But in London, there are more wet days. What about the buildings? Well, people say that the architecture in Paris is more beautiful, but the buildings in London are more interesting. And living in the two cities, well, life is faster in London. And the people, hmm... Londoners are generally more polite than Parisians. People in London work harder and they earn more. In Paris, having a good time is more important. Okay, so everyone, so now listen again. Tape script 9.4 Well, I like both London and Paris, but they're very different cities. Take transport, for example. The metro is cheaper and easier to use than the underground. And the weather, well, Paris is certainly hotter than London. And Paris, in fact, is wetter than London. But in London, there are more wet days. What about the buildings? Well, people say that the architecture in Paris is more beautiful, but the buildings in London are more interesting. And living in the two cities, well, life is faster in London. And the people, hmm... Londoners are generally more polite than Parisians. People in London work harder and they earn more. In Paris, having a good time is more important. Okay, so now after listening to the recording, um, let's have the answer together. I hope you can complete everything in the sentences, okay? Uh, number, two, number one has been done for you, that um, the metro is cheaper and easier to use than the underground. Okay, so number two, Paris is certainly, yes, certainly hotter than London. Number three, Paris, in fact, is just rather than London, but in London, there are just more fair days, okay? Number four, the architecture in Paris is more beautiful, yes, but the building in London are more interesting. Okay, number five, life is what in London? Life, 
Le Lai is faster in London. Number six, Londoners are generally just more polite than Parisians. Number seven, people in London work yes, harder and they earn more. Okay, and the last one in Paris, having a good time is yes, it's more important. Okay. So after listening to this con uh, to the recording, you might have some ideas between these two cities, um, between London and Paris. How are the how they are different um, between one another? Okay, okay. So now it's come to um, the last slide. Uh, that is your homework. What you have to do in this homework is to complete the conversation using the comparative forms of adjective. Okay, so the first one have been done for use as examples that New York is older than London. With the, the adjective has been given, the word earth, what you have to do is just to change this adjective and this bracket into the comparative adjective. Okay, and then the next one is modern to more modern and number two, number three, number four, number five is your homework. Okay, and we have two. The number two is we have two homework. The first one we just change the attitude into the comparative attitude when complete in this um, sentences. And number two, you have to create five sentences by using comparative attitude for okay, so you can look around in your house or in your rooms and um, create um, some things by comparing it with one another for using comparative adjective okay okay so everyone thank you for watching this videos and don't forget to submit me the top um, once you finish watching this thank you